Hi, we're here. People, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hey guys, how are you? How is everything? Hi, I am sick. Oh no, I'm sorry, Susan. <laughs> That's not good. Take some medicine and get rest, all right? Yes. What about the rest? How are you guys? How's your day going so far? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, hi. Hi. How are you guys? Fine, teacher. Fine, teacher. Are you guys Are you guys happy? Yes. All right. That's good. That's good. And how was your day? It's fine, teacher. Okay. okay. Um, mo, un poco. A little. A little. Tired, a little tired. Okay. Why? Mm. For work. What happened today? For work, teacher. Mm, okay. Very busy. Very, very hard, very difficult today, huh? Yes, teacher. Okay. I can imagine it's, it's kind of normal. Right? Well, I'm glad that you're here. What about the rest? Carla, Mauricio, Julia, Guadalupe, Ofelia, Sulma, Sandra, Gabriela, Luis. In this Hello. How are you guys? Hello, How's teacher. Going? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. No, I'm happy, teacher. Okay. I'm good. happy and today. We had a appointment with my company. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. That's and good. all the people and all the people and when we had payment, he's happy. He's happy. <laughs> yes, of course. Of course. We we have we're happy to receive that money. We've worked oh, yes. that money. We deserve it. Yes. Oh, yes. Hey. Where do you live, Mauricio? Uh, I am from the city Popusas. Oloquilta. Ah, okay. Oloquilta. Oh, I'm asking the you city because Popusa. I'm asking you because Excuse you're me? wearing a, a fearful shirt. That's a fearful shirt. That's why I was asking you. Hello, hello. Por la camisa, for your shirt. Ah, yeah. no le escuchaba, teacher. Tú, tú un poquito de volumen. Thank you. Oh, my God. Please, Angel Firpo. Okay. He's That's... the best the kid man in the world. Usulta, <laughs> teacher. The best team. Yeah. The best team in the Call world. Call me your dream. <laughs> That's, yes. a... uh, That's a relax. That's one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, is it only in your dreams? All right, that's that's okay. That's okay. I live I live in Osulutan. That's why I was asking you. I'm from Osulutan. That's why I was I was asking you. In fact, I work on, on Saturdays. Only on Saturdays, I work in front of uh, in front of uh, Sergio Torres Stadium. <laughs> Right, guys, let me let me take it and then we start with this, huh? Start with this, huh? Saludos, Fito Celaya. Good evening, Walter. Hello, my, hello, my friend. Sorry, teacher. Sorry, teacher, but he looked like Fito Celaya with this shirt. So <laughs> never, never. He's a Luis Angel Firpo. He's the Fito Celaya. He's Alianza. It's okay. <laughs> hey, saludos, my friend. Saludos. Okay. I'm trying to find out. Sorry, that is taking me a while. Okay. Ready now. Sorry. Okay. Let me take attendance. Uh, Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Okay. 
Ernest Stephanie, no. Ana Selmi Chévez. No, okay. Gabriel Alejandra González Flores. Hi, present. Hi. Gloria, Gloria Elizabeth Mares Galdames. Here. Ahorita voy. Malupe Here, Carlos López Flores. Present. Hi. José Ernesto Osorio Durán. Okay. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present teacher. Hello. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Yeah. Luis Orlando Rodríguez Herrera. Here. Hi. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. No, Mayer. Sandra Gladys Méndez Martínez. Ramírez, presente, teacher. Oh, uh, yes, sorry. Qué <laughs> bien. <laughs> <laughs> okay, teacher. Martini. What did I say? <laughs> Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Present. Hi. Walter Mauricio Morales Carajo. Yes, yes, thank you. Walter Mauricio. Present teacher. Present. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Silva Rosaura López. Present. Flor de María Carvalho Ugarte. Edwin Alexander Ayala. Okay. Thank you, people. All right. We're going to start and I'm going to show you today's topic. Okay, today we're going to be working with, uh, it says here, introduction to the first conditional introduction to the first conditional this is the grammar topic that we're going to be practicing it's a very easy thing you know and uh i'll try my best and the easiest way possible to explain it to you in that way you get it quickly okay this is class number six okay this is class number six we start unit number two today and uh well without further ado let's go let's get back Let's get, oh, let's get started here. Okay, like I said, today we start unit number two. Today we start unit number two. And unit number two, it's about management and conflict. That's the unit all about, management and conflict, all right? And then we have today's objective. Today's objective is that I will be able to, or we will be able to apply conflict manager strategies to solve a conflict at the workplace. It says apply conflict management strategies to solve a conflict at the workplace. Okay, that's what the objective or what the class is going to be focusing on. Okay, then we have two questions here in part number one. We have two questions. The questions say, do you think conflict is a normal part of any social or organizational setting? And sorry, I said work. What happens if conflict is left unsolved at work? Guys, take a look at these questions and uh, try to come up with an answer. And I'm going to be asking you the, the, these questions, okay? Let me repeat them. Do you think conflict is a, is a normal part of any social and organizational setting? That's the first question. Second question, what happens if conflict is left unresolved at work? Okay, let's see. I would like to hear some opinions about this. People, 
What do you think about the, the, these two questions? Guys? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, hi, tell me. I guess that it could be not, but it could, it is maybe, se vuelve, it is, how do you say in English? Sorry? Uh, if, for example, if I can say you, it is not normal. Mm -hmm. It could, it could be, it couldn't be normal, but sometimes in, in so many companies, it could be um, se vuelve o se puede retornar o se puede. How do you say in English, teacher? Um, maybe could be normal could be, uh -huh. if if um, it is the pain of, of some boxes, uh, bosses, jefes, for yeah, example, possible. when yes, when the the. Um, for example, when the trouble or problem in some companies uh, could be so hard, the conflict could be normal mm -hmm. because um, many bosses they don't get they, they don't give they don't give some for example so uh, enough help to solve any any problem that we will get in the process, for example. Okay, yes. All right, all right. <clears throat> Thank you, Wilber, for your, for your answer. Yes, anybody else? I'm listening. This is, this is very normal, mm -hmm. uh, guys. Especially because we do have different ideas and personalities, especially. Mm -hmm. And we apply different methods or processes. And this is very common if we do have uh, high rotations and we have like uh, new employees and senior employees. So it's, it's, it's normal. Yes, yes, it is, it is, of course. Thank you, Luis. Very good, excellent, excellent. Thank you, thank you. All right, anybody else? Guys, we're trying, we're trying to answer the first question, okay? And the question is, do you think conflict is a normal part of any social and organizational setting? That's the question we're, that we're discussing right now. So I still want to yes. hear more people. Yes, teacher, it's normal because in the organization is integrated with people and the people has different opinions, different way to, to manage. It's normal that the conflict. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Thank you, Anna, for your example, for your uh, opinion, sorry. All right, all right. Anybody else? Uh, me, I think it's uh, normal and is actually part of the of the work mm -hmm. because uh, yeah. there are different type of people and we have to uh, handle every uh, attitude, I guess. I so I think it's very normal to have conflicts. And I think it's also part of a job. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Thank you very much for that. All right. What about the second question? What happens if conflict is left unresolved at work? Guys, what happens if conflict is left uh, unresolved at work? I think the trouble is more and more bigger with the time. Okay, uh -huh. all right, all right. It could be so hard, teacher, because the mentor around the company could be uh, so stressful. Mm -hmm. if and um, the conflict doesn't resolve. <clears throat> I, I, I guess that it is, I could be so hard working in that 
case. Okay. Okay. Anybody else? Guys, anybody maybe, else? May, maybe, no. maybe some of the the parts involved in the in the conflict uh, uh, could could it be um, uh, un, un, uncomfortable with the with the oh my god uh, uncomfortable and the at work sorry and because there is a conflict and uh, there is a un, unresolved conflict okay okay yes yes all right all right anybody else it will create a negative environment uh, yeah that's true that's true yeah, uh, a very, very, a uh, very awkward atmosphere. Yeah, it would be like kind of difficult. So it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be left un unresolved. All right, thank you for your opinions. It shouldn't be like that. All right, then we have a conversation. It's been a while since we last had one. Okay, there's a conversation here. All right, it says, uh, well, read the conversation as you read it. Pay attention to the conflict the features and the possible solutions to it. All right. Let me read, listen to whatever uh, well, the pronunciation. All right. Richard, I understand you would like us to work together, but if it's, if it's, if, it, if possible, please, if it is possible, if it is possible, if possible, please pair me up with another of the managers. I can't stand how she allows her subordinates to do whatever they want. Why are you always attacking me in meetings? What are you talking about? I don't do that. You just did. You just did. Uh -huh. Oh, well, would you please tell me why you am, I admire about Sally? Well, she, I have to admit that she, but that her reports are extremely accurate and that her sales department handles work without delay. And uh, Sally, what do you appreciate about Google? He did a, he did a good, a great job increasing sales by uh, 50% this month with just with his business approach. I know you two have different personalities. If you both had not contributed to our projects, we wouldn't have had some uh, such growth last year. From now on, remember what you just said about each other to help the company continue to grow. All right. Is there a word that you don't understand from here, people? A word in this conversation? Or a group of words or a sentence that you don't understand? No? That's okay then. Let me read this information again. I will do this. I will do it slowly this time or slower than before. All right, let me do it again. Richard, I understand you would like us to work together, but if possible, please pair me up with another of the managers. I can't stand how she allows her subordinates to do whatever they want. Why are you always attacking me in meetings? What are you talking about? I don't do that. You just did. Hugo, would you please tell me what you admire about Sally? Well, I have to admit it, admit, admit that her reports are extremely accurate and that her sales department handles work without delay. And Sally, what do you appreciate about Google? He did a great job increasing sales by a 50%, 15% this month with, with his business approach. <clears throat> I know you have you two have different personalities. If you both had not contributed to our projects, we wouldn't have had such growth last year. From now on, remember what you just said about each other to help the company continue to grow. All right, there you go. Perfect. So let me read the second thing here, the one that is in blue, this one. It says, Richard is the CEO at eSource. 
and he wants his sales and financial managers, Sally and Hugo, to work together. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Richard knows that they don't communicate effectively and that their uh, leadership values are very different, but he knows he needs to do something to improve their teamwork. Richard invited both to his office and their mutual resentment was apparent. Apparent, sorry. All right. We're going to read this, com practice this conversation, read this paragraph as well. And also we have a part three here in which we will have to answer three questions about the conversation, all right? Yes. So that's what we're going to be doing for a few minutes. Let me separate you or break you down. All right, here we go. I have just created six groups. In each group, there will, there will be three people. So I think that's perfect for the conversation because that's a three people conversation, all right? Let's go. I will see you over there, all right? Okay. Okay, I'm Sally. I'm Sally. Okay. I'm you, Richard. Okay, you, you okay. 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 Richard, I understand you I understand you would you would like us to work together, but it's possible please pair me up with another of us manager. I can stand how she allow her subordinates to do wherever they want. Why? Why are you always attacking me in meetings? What are you talking about? I don't do that. You just did it. Hugo, would you please tell me what you admire about Sally? Admire. 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 Well, she. I have to admit that her reports are extremely Accurate, 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 and that her sales department handles well without delay. And Sally, what do you, what do you appreciate about Hugo? Hugo did a great job increasing sales by a fifteen percent this month with his business approach. I know you two have different personalities. If you both have not contributed to our projects, we would, wouldn't have had such growth last year. From now on, remember what you just said about each other to help the company continue to grow. When you can switch roles, you can the person, yes. okay. yeah. right? Continue guys, thank you very much for that. Okay. Yes, ready. May I start? Are you ready? Yes, yes, ready. Okay, guys. I'm okay. Uh, Richard, yes. I'm in standard you will like 
like us to work together, but if possible, please pair me, pay me up with another of the manag managers. I can understand how she allows her subordinate to do wherever they want. Why are you always attacking me in meetings? What are you talking about? I don't do that. You just died, died it? Did it, yes, did it. Did it, did it? Who is going to be richer? Ophelia. Sam. Hello? Ah, oh, yes. Richard, Ophelia. Twenty. Twenty, 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 I just. Ah, yes. Yes. Okay. okay. You are going to be richer. Okay. Um. A uh, Ricard, I universe, a uh, you or lies us to or to hurt her. I was is possibly a uh, please. I appraise nice us with. A note of the manager is can start host cheese. I Ophelia. love Excuse me. Excuse me. You, are going, you are going to be richer. I am Hugo. Ah, perdón. Perdón. Oh. I am sorry. If, if you want, uh, we can start. We, are, was, we, we can start. She was reading. Was reading. Re no, that's not good. You were but, she was reading, reading, like putting her best effort. <laughs> That's okay, that's okay. Continue, guys. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Mi Hugo. Hi, guys. Um, Pamela. Uh, it can be Sally, okay. Uh, and this, Richard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, Richard. I understand you would like would like would like us to work together, but it's possible please pay pay me up with another of the manager. I can understand how how she allowed her subordinate to do whatever whatever they want. Why are you always attacking me in meetings? What are you talking about? I don't do that. You just did it. Hugo, would you please tell me what you admire about Sally? <laughs> well, she, I have to admit that her reports are extremely accurate and that her service department handles work with delay. And Sally, what do you appreciate about Hugo? She did a great job increased sales by a uh, fifteen percent this month with his business approach. I know, I know you. you too, yeah, yeah. Continue. Sorry. I know you two have different personalities. If you both had not contributed to our projects, we wouldn't have had such a crowd last year. From now on, remember what you said about each other to help the company continue to grow. All right, Luis, you did the same. What I, you see, you did what I did uh, when I was reading the for the no, you see the third line. I said, I said we wouldn't have had such a growth like what you did, and it's just such growth. It's okay. like <laughs> it, it's, it, I, it, I think it's because you know we we don't usually use it with without the a. We always say like such a such a. That's why we like we we we, got, <laughs> we have gotten used to it. 
That's why. Yeah. 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 That's, that's okay. They have like two similar words together. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, such growth. Such growth. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you for reading. If you want, you can continue your reading. All right. You can also read the the, the second thing that we have uh, below the image. And then you can go down to part three and answer the questions that are there. There are three questions that uh, need, need to be explained. All right. Keep it going. All right. Thank you, guys. Cool. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> are you guys? No. Are you guys no, okay. we, we... No, it's because we're asking her that we hear um, something that we, he we hear, like, if there is another class that, he's, that someone is taking because we hear, like, like someone is repeating something yes, that's like with us right now. Sister. That is Ada. Ah, yes. Ah, uh, yes, este, um, excuse me, Ricardo, ¿verdad? Ah. Eh, eh, with with class, la, the class, eh, la estamos compartiendo con mi hermana en la misma sala. Entonces, por eso es que se oye, se oye la, la, la voz de ella también. That's what I was asking, like, oh my God, pensé que era como que un, como que estaba echo. como un background. Ajá, ajá, ajá. eso, eco. No, no. Entre, siempre tenemos ese problema porque, pues sí, pues estamos enfrente una de otra. Ay, disculpe que he metido, soy va. No, no hay problema. No, no, no. 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 No, no, voces también. <risa> nos escuchan allá también entonces. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, nos escuchan. All right, guys, okay. go. Okay. okay. Uh, okay. Richard, I understand you would like us to work together, <laughs> but if possible, please pair me out with another of managers. I can't stand how she allows her subordinates to, to do whatever they want. Why are you always attacking me in meetings? Uh, what are you talking about? I don't know. I, I don't do that. You just did it. Hugo, will you please tell me what you admire about Sally? Well, she, I have to admit that her reports are extremely accurate and her sales department handles work without a delay. Uh, and Sally, what do, what do you do appreciate about Hugo? He did a great job increasing sales by 15% uh, this month with his business approach. I know you two have different personalities. If you both have not contributed to our project, we would we wouldn't have had such ground last year. From now on, remember what you do say about each other to help the company continue to grow. Uh, Richard is the CEO at his source, and he wants his sales and financial managers, Sally and Hugo, to work together. Richard knows that they don't communicate effectively and that their leadership values are very different, but he knows he needs to do something to improve their teamwork. Richard invited both to his office and their mutual resentment was apparent. 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 Okay, Apparently. if you want, you can continue practicing. I'm going to leave this group. I'm going to go to another one. If you want, you can continue yeah. practicing with part number two and, and then the, also the, the, the chart that is below the picture. 
And then you can continue with the, the part number three. You can go down there to part three and answer the questions that you, you have there, All right? Okay. okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you. No problem. Let me go to a different group. Um, the fact. I'm sorry, Claudita, please repeat. <laughs> okay. Uh, her name, the, her qualities. More than okay. the, uh -huh. More than her uh, defects. Defectos, como se dice? El nombró más sus cualidades que sus defectos. What is the name, teacher? Flower. What is the, the, the word? What is the word of the defectos? Flaws, sorry. Flaws. F-L-A-W-S. Okay. Close. Yes, um, I believe that the Ricardo, no, Ricardo, no, Richard. Richard, Richard is the style is is more more democratic, and the for the way to resolve the conflict is um, is the way positive positive way because uh, they permit to to how do you say confrontar teacher but not confrontar the fight not confrontar the the in front to like like deal with deal with you can say confront but that sounds kind of weird yes the confront because it's important to put on the table mm -hmm. the why why is the problem mm -hmm. in my opinion the the majority of the conflict requiring clarification <laughs> the attitude of the richard in my opinion is Great. <laughs> it's it. Great. <laughs> you, can write, like the, you can write an answer to this. Okay. In our, the, that one right, here. teacher. Sorry? Write the answer. If you can, if it is possible, you can do it. Okay. Okay. Right. In the number three. What would you have done to resolve the conflict? Yes. And stand. Stand. How she allows. How she allows. Her subordinate. Her subordinate. Subordinate. So, so, Ordinate. Subordinate. To do whatever. To do whatever. Whatever. They, they, they want. They want. 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 Okay. I, uh, I'm going to read Sally. Why are you always stalking me in meeting? I was at you marking. What are, what are you talking about? What are you talking, talking about? About. about, about. Uh -huh. I know. I don't do, I don't do, do that. 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 You just did it. Sandra, did you continue? Yes. Hugo, would you please tell me what you admire? About Sally? I'm going to help you, Ophelia. Uh, well, well, she is. Ha, I, ha, I, ha, I have to admit, I, to, I admit ha, to admit that her report, that her report are, are extremely, 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 extremely accurate. accurate. 
accurate. Assurance. And, and that, that her, her that her sales serve the part sales department okay. department handles hardness work, work without we delay 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 ah, okay Richard and Sally what did you appreciate about Hugo he did a great job increasing sales by a 15 percent this month this month with his business approach i know you to yes Bea, yes i know you to have different personalities if you both have no contribute to wars projects we will how had such grow last year from now on. Remember what you say about each other to help the company continue to grow. Okay, let's do it again. Yes. Okay. okay. Well, I don't know if you guys have worked on the questions. Have you done it? Why? What? The questions in part number three. Do you have, do you, did you finish that part in part number three? Yes. Mm, not yet, teacher. No, okay. Um, ah, you're, lying to me. you're lying to me, Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then continue, continue working with part three, okay? I'm Please. okay. Okay, teacher. This month, we his business, I with his business approach. I know you two have different personalities. If you both had not contributed to our project, we wouldn't have had such growth last year. From now on, remember what you just said about each other to help the company to continue to grow. Okay. Okay. Repeat again. Sorry, did you guys work okay. on part number three? Yeah, we make it. Okay. We finish. Yeah. So you see me. Okay. Practice again. Okay. Who is Hugo? Mm, me. Okay, I am Sally. And what that you can be, uh, Richard? Okay. Yes, Richard. <coughs> Who is Richard? Okay. Me? Ah, oh, okay. What? Okay. Okay. I start. Richard, I understand you would like us to work together, but it's possible, please pair me up with another of the managers. I can understand how she allows her subordinates to do whatever they want. Why are you always attacking me in the meeting? What are you talking about? I don't do that. You just did it. Hugo, would you please tell me what you admire about Sally? What you admire, admire. Admire. Well, she, I have to admit that her reports are extremely accurate and that her sales department handles work without delay. And Sile, <clears throat> uh, what do you and appearance about Hugo? He did a great job in Christmas at 15% this month with his business approach. 
And now you two have a different personality. If you run a hat, not contribute to our projects. We were had at some growth last year. From now on, remember what did you say about each other to help the company continue to run? All right. Excellent, excellent people. Thank you. Okay. We're going to go back to the main session. Let's go back to the main session. Okay. Thank you, guys. Hi, we're back. Thank you guys for, for your participation, for your constant participation. Now we're going to go to part number three and discuss the, the answers. <clears throat> okay, here on part number three. The first question, it, it, it says, what are the causes of the, of the conflict between Sally and Hugo? Can anybody tell me what the problem is? Anybody? Um, teacher, uh, the conflict could be, um, let me see, that Sally, Sally felt that she always is attacking, but in, in the meeting. Mm -hmm. I guess that it, it, it could be the, um, the conflict that she feels that they that she always is attacking by the, the about her coworker. Okay, I think I think even Ricardo mentioned that over there in the last part. I think it's because they both have different personalities, you know, and like like their personalities do not match. Okay, they don't agree. That's why the the conflict comes out. Second question, what was Richard's attitude towards the conflicts? Anybody? Can you guys tell me? What was Richard's attitude toward the conflicts? He was acting like he was acting like a neutral person. Mm -hmm. Try to uh, listen uh, both sides. Intermediate. Yes, yes, yes. All right, all right. Yeah, he was he was very very professional with with the attitude, a very professional attitude. Yes, like he didn't balance himself to nobody. He just like remained himself neutral, and that's why he he solved it because uh, apparently he he solved the problem. All right. So his attitude was like a very good leader's attitude. Yes. Three, what, would you, what would, uh, would you have done to resolve the conflict? People, tell me. I would like to hear like two or three opinions. This is like, like very personal. So it is what would you have done to resolve the problem? Tell me, people. Fire them? <laughs> OK, don't pay them. <laughs> Tell me, people, or at least just one one opinion. Guys, nice. hello. I agree with the the way how Richard resolved the conflict or tried to resolve the conflict. Okay. All right. Through all right. the good communication or try to improve mm -hmm. the communication between Hugo and Sally. All right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yeah. He. That's what he did. He. He, 
he found the words, the right, the right words or the right questions to, to manage the situation perfectly. Okay, thank you for that, people. Excellent. All right, very good. Now we have a part four over here, which will we do later on? Okay, because now I'm going to, we're going to start talking about something here that is called conditionals. Let me go in and yes, here. Okay, do you guys, or can you guys see the presentation? Guys, can you see the presentation? Yes, teacher. All right, thank you for letting me know. And uh, well, like I said before, this is the introduction to the first conditional. This first conditional is a very common grammar structure that tends to be kind of simple and basic. All right, here we go. <clears throat> this is a definition for this. It says, first conditional. It is a structure used for talking about possibilities in the present or in the future. Let me read. It is a structure used for talking about possibilities in the present or in the future. That's what we use the, the first conditional for. The structure of a first conditional sentence. Guys, are you with me? It says here, It says here, a first conditional sentence consists of two clauses, an if clause and a main clause, okay? So when we're, you, when we're talking about uh, first conditional, it means that in the sentence, well, in the sentence, we're gonna have two sentences and with if we're connecting the sentences, okay? So we're gonna have a sentence using if, in a sentence that is independent. Look at this example, if clause. If I study hard, if I study hard, sorry, if you study hard, we have the main clause over here, you will pass the test. You will pass the test. If you study hard, you will pass the test. Okay, in Spanish will be, si estudias, si estudias duro, pasarás el examen. Right, yes. The condition, the result. Okay, this this will pass the exam. This thing will pass the exam. Will pass the exam. This sentence is the possibility. Okay, that's a possibility. This sentence is a, it's not something true. Okay, maybe you study you study but you don't pass the exam. So it's 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 just a possibility for the future. Okay, because the person hasn't taking the exam yet. So it's a possibility for the future. Possibility for the future, all right? This part over here. And this sentence is, if I study hard, is what we call the first conditional, okay? If, if I study hard, sorry, if you study hard, that's what we call first conditional, okay? This thing over here, this structure, all right? Now, that's how it goes. Look at this, read with me. If the if clause comes first, use a comma. A comma is usually used. If the is clause comes second, there's no need for a comma. Look at this, you will pass the exam if you study hard, okay? We can, we can, have, we can have the if sentence before or we can have it at the end, all right? The difference is that if the if clause is at the beginning, we separate the clause with the sent with the with the comma. Okay, we use a comma to separate both sentences. <clears throat> if 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 <laughs> if if is in between or between the sentence in the middle of the sentence, the comma is not necessary. And the structure is here. Uh, here, look at this. Look at this. If clause. Listen to this, the if clause 
for the first conditional, we're talking about the first conditional, okay? We have a zero conditional, first conditional, second conditional, and third conditional. In this moment, we're talking about just the first one, okay? So the if sentence goes or has to be in the simple present form. People, as you can see, the if clause has to be in the simple present form. Example, if it rains today, this is simple present. If it rains today, may clause has to be in the future or we can use can. We can use the future, which is will, or we can use can. Both are okay. We will finish work earlier. If it rains today, we will finish work earlier. All right, that's how it goes. And look at the comma, the comma is there because the if sentence is before. We can change or we can revert this, okay? We can change or move things around. We can have the main sentence before, as you can see, we will finish work earlier. If clause, if it rains today, okay? Or you can just simply say, if it rains, today won't be necessary in that case, okay? Yes, guys. Do you understand this? Easy, right? <clears throat> Do you guys have a question? <coughs> Example teacher with Ken. Oh, yes. <coughs> Sorry. It's pretty much the same as the <coughs> Sorry, I'm getting allergies again. We can finish. Okay, there you go. It is the same structure, okay? You can use it here or you can use it here, all right? So it would go like this. If it rains today, we can finish work earlier, okay? No problem, please. Okay, guys, more questions? Guys, more questions? No, teacher. No? Okay, we're fine. Perfect. Now we're going to work on some exercises that are here. Look at this. Well, more examples. The first conditional is used to talk about things which are possible in the present or in the future. Things which may happen, okay? It's just a possibility. Look at examples here. It says, if it's sunny, if it's sunny, we'll go to the park, okay? Maybe it will be sunny, that's possible. We don't know, okay? We don't know about the weather. So we just saying that it's possible. Ada will be sad if uh, Gloria leaves. Hello guys. Ada will be sad if Gloria leaves. Uh, and I know, not cambia Juan, <laughs> sorry, it was Juan. Maybe Juan will leave, maybe uh, Gloria will leave, okay? That's possible. If you cook supper or the supper, I'll wash the dishes. Maybe you will cook the supper, that's possible. Supper means dinner, okay? Yes, excellent. Now, over here we have this situation. Create, people, listen to this. Create results or conditions for the following examples. We have a picture of a boy playing the guitar and the, and the example says, or the condition, the condition says, if you play the guitar, guys, can you please give me a result or a possibility? It can be any possibility, okay? Teacher, could be if you play the guitar, you will be, um, let me see, uh, sing in, in any band. You will be a singer, maybe. Ah, yeah. Or okay. you will sing. Or you, you will be a singer. Okay. You will sing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Anybody else? People, come on, people, you can do this. I'm waiting. If I'm you waiting. play the guitar, uh -huh. uh, you will be very popular. Okay. You will be very popular. That's that's perfect. Okay. If you play the guitar, you will be very popular. People, what else? What else? 
Tell me, people. If you play the guitar, mm -hmm. you can uh, learn a lot of songs. Okay, you can learn a lot of songs. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, good. Another example here. Look at this one. You will. Uh, this one we have. We have the 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 result or the possibility. We don't have the condition as you can see. We're going to add the condition to this sentence, and it says you will you will get productive results if people look at the picture and uh, give me a possible a possible condition for this. If you if you work as a team. Okay. Okay. There you go. You will get uh, productive results or good results if you work as a team. He said. Perfect example. Can you guys come up come up with another one? You will get product results if you will productive. work. Productive. Yes. Sorry. Productive result if you work hard harder. Mm -hmm. If you work hard harder, yeah, both you are work direct. harder. Yes, both are direct. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anybody else? Um, you will get productive results if you have an open mind. If you if you are if you are open if, if you are no if minded. you are open minded if you are open minded you see if you have an open mind yes <laughs> yes mente abierta no if you are if you are open minded if you are um ah uh, yes 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 because if you have it's more possession that you have an abierta la cabeza yes. Ah, no, no, no. <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> okay. I got wrong. That's okay. That's okay. No, no problem. All right. Excellent. Thank you. What about this one? Look at this one. If you think smartly. If, uh, if you think smartly. You will get better results. Hey, hey yeah, you're right. You're right. You will get better results. Perfect. <laughs> okay. More examples, people? Is it super easy, people? If you think smartly? Uh, you will search a solution for your problem. Okay. You will be a genius. Go, go, no problem. Thank you. You will be a genius. Okay. If you, people, my example will be this one. If you think smartly, you won't get married. You won't get married. If there, uh, if there is a problem, we have many solutions. No. No, 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 sorry. <laughs> I have to be different. People, if you think smartly, you won't get married. Yeah, don't. I, I think you are married already. So that's I'm good, teacher. That's I think, good. I think. I think. I think everybody here is married. <laughs> it's a. It's a good. It's a good example. Yeah, of course. Okay. Another one. Why you? Look at this. One. Why you didn't tell me that ten years ago? <laughs> <laughs> ten years ago. Ten years ago. Yes. That's not, I'm sorry. You've been suffering for ten years. <laughs> All right, yeah. people, look at this example. Look at the picture. The chick e eating uh, vegetables. Said, Alice will stay healthy if, guys, is due to eat she, vegetables. If she, is she, is she, is she eat vegetables? Okay, Alice will will stay healthy if she eats vegetables. Mm -hmm. Guys, what else? Vegetables. vegetables. Uh -huh. Another she one? do exercise. If sorry, Alice will stay healthy if she do a, a sport. Okay, if she does, if she does sports. It, yes, if or she if does. She practices All right. Another one. Look at this one. If they sing well. If they sing well, uh, 
guys? If they sing well. Yes. If they sing well, we we go. We go the concert. They will have. They will have a concert. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. We have. Yes. What we'll else? Go to uh, we will oh. we'll go. We will go. We will go. Uh -huh. Yes, we will go to the concert. The concert. Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. concert? yes, yes, yes. I get okay. it. Now. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I get it now. <laughs> Guys? If they, if they sing well, they will be a good band. They will get, be, be a good band, okay? Yeah. Yes. If they sing well, teacher, they will be a famous. Yes, you're right. They will be famous. Super famous. That was the last one, sorry. That's the one. Okay, yes. Thank if, you, guys. If, yes, 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 tell me, tell me, don't worry. If they sing well, they will win a prize. They will win a prize. Win a okay. prize. Okay, okay. That's perfect, that's perfect. All right, we're going to continue guys with another thing here. This, this one is super easy. It's just an activity related to what we were talking about. This one, it says, put the verb into the correct first conditional form. This activity is quite simple. It's, you just have to uh, write down the verb and write down the, con the, the result. okay? Then I just nine examples, super easy for this. Uh, I want you guys to work individually and I will give you three, three minutes to complete this information. If you have any questions, let me know and let me know when you finish. Okay, three, just three minutes will be perfect. You'll be. Teacher, yes, tell me. Happen. Oh yeah, you're right, my bad. Yes, I have to update it, I have to update it. There are some people that got here late, so I need to update the attendance list. Hold on. All right, thank you for letting me know. Uh, Ana Patricia Linares Galdames. Present. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. I haven't seen her today. I think she's not here today. Yeah, she's here. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. All right. Gabriela Alejandra Gonzalez Flores. Present. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Present. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Jose, I think Jose is not here today. Sorry. I'll just get that again. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present. <coughs> Carla Verónica Vázquez. Present, teacher. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Luis Orlando Rodriguez Herrera. Here. Néstor Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present, teacher. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Hi. Rosa Agnes Salgada de Serrano. Present, teacher. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Walter Antonio Morales Araujo. Excuse me, teacher. Walter Mauricio. <laughs> Walter Mauricio. Present. What did I say? What did I say? It's Tonio, no. <laughs> I said Walter Antonio, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, sorry. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Zulma Rosaura. Lopez Garcia. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Okay, she's not here today. All right, excellent. We're going back to this, sorry. All right. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Teacher. Uh, I, I want to review the second class, but 
No jet is out day. The Always. Video. Yes, the video. In the platform. I don't think in so. The, in, in the video, the second class is a uh, first class. Mm, okay, if you don't find a video on the platform, you can go to YouTube. You will find it there. It's also on YouTube. Teacher. Yes. Oh, you didn't say my name, Edwin. Yes, I did. You didn't reply though. Yes. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry. What number class, Carla? Uh, number one. I'm checking, right now. I'm checking that right now. Sorry. Let, let me the video see. conference to add the closet with cool. It is taking too long. Is it me? Is it just me or the internet is like uh like not working well today or this these past days? Like everywhere. It's just me then. <laughs> this this is not low, not just manage any one, manage questions. So you're saying, Carla, that the video that you find in in the first the first the first video is the first class, and the second video is the, the first class. Yeah, the first video is the first is, class. Yes, the first class, but the second video is the first class. I don't think so. Maybe I made a mistake and I uploaded both videos to I me mean, the same video, but I don't think that happened. I don't think that's how it is. No, but the video is here, Carla, with the name and everything. Mm. Yes, it is here. No. Okay, I uh, is the is the first video in a in, in a second position is the first class. No, nope. I checked. Yes, I see in this moment. Uh. Relax. Y, ok, dice, no, 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 no problem. Es que en la segunda clase no estuve yo, y entonces yo estoy viendo, el, por eso quiero ver el, el video, pero yo aparezco en esa clase, entonces esa aparezco porque yo sí estuve en la primera. Entonces, por eso es que digo, este no es, porque ahí me veo yo en el video. Es oh. imposible, yo no estuve en esa clase, entonces yo lo quiero ver. Ok. Me recheco, reviso para reportarlo entonces, porque acá me aparece a mí la segunda clase, pero no he visto, no visto el video. Eh, yo sí lo estoy viendo así como por partes para ver si en algún momento se cambiaba. ¿Alguien más, ¿alguien más lo vio así? Um, ¿Alguien más aparte de eh. casa? Sí, sigue hasta el hasta el minuto 25, sigue la primera clase. Honestamente no sé dónde ubicar los videos de la clase. <ríe> en la plataforma en cada en cada homework a la par está el video y yo lo quiero ver porque he tenido problemas con un ejercicio y quiero ver el video para poder hacer el ejercicio. Acá está, quiero ver la explicación. Acá está la plataforma. Uh, ok. Aquí está. Okay. Aparece el video y usted aparece ahí, si tiene razón. Ajá. Uh -huh. Y yo no estuve en esa clase. ¿O será que no estuve en la tercera clase? No, en la segunda no estuve. Entonces, por eso la quiero ver, pero esa, esa es la primera. O sea, esa es la primera clase. Y, y si se pasa la primera clase, está el mismo video. Let me see, let me see. <clears throat> Sis, 
match the I term, sorry, match the terms with their corresponding definition. We have five different terms. Sorry. Stop from here. No. Carla. Porque este video dura 2.10 y el que vimos, el que vimos antes duraba 2.35. Entonces están invertidos, teacher. Ah, probablemente estén invertidos. Aunque lo dudo. No. Acá está el no, nombre. No, pero. Provide details about my Pero. 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 Ya voy a revisar bien porque no me están acá en este momento. Ok. That's a weird thing. Eso está Thank bien. you. Ok. Sorry, guys. En video, video one, en face to face, is, and the, the end of the, the video, is mm -hmm. Lourdes. Lourdes con, with, with Ana, creo. En video dos, uh, uh, face to face and have low orders again. Okay, I was going to say that there's something. I'm checking some information here right now. Hold on. I watch on YouTube. Thank you. Sí, aquí parece que no no estuvo usted en la en la clase también la. Okay, ya voy a mandar, voy a reportar, voy a reportar. Okay, I'm going to report it. Okay, don't worry. Now let's do this. Okay. Let's do this. Three minutes. Okay. <clears throat> Thank you, teacher. Guys, go individually. Okay. Let me know when you finish. Finish. Okay, thank you. Finish too. All right.
Okay, let's start checking. Let me see. The first person to read will be Nelson. Hi, Nelson. Read the first one, Nelson. Nelson, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, go, please. Uh, if I go... Uh, if I I go online out tonight, I I get in to the cinema. Cinema. Okay, it will be <clears throat> pretty much the same. If I go out, let me. If I go, if I go out tonight, I will go. Okay, people. If I go out tonight, I will go to the cinema. Number number two, number two, Ophelia, can you please read it? Ophelia, number two. Sorry, I read you, right? Um, are you more with Ray? Can you please repeat, Ophelia? I, is you gray? If you get mm -hmm. back uh, late, I press you more than. Repeat, repeat after me. If you get, if you get, is you girl back late? Uh, late. Your mother. You more. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I we will will be will be will be angry. Okay. Angry. Will be angry. Number three. Let me see. Sandra. Uh, is we is is we not see each other tomorrow? Mm -hmm. We will see each other next month. Okay, I think, okay, okay. If we don't, if we don't okay. see, don't if know. we don't see each other uh, tomorrow, we we will see each other next month. We will month. see? Each other next month. Number four. Depends. Sorry? The the pairs in other seconds no change. I don't change. No oh, yeah, change. It, it doesn't change. It doesn't change. Okay. All right. Pamela, read number four. If he come, I will be surprised. If he comes. I will be surprised. Okay, thank you. Gabriela, read the next one, number five. If, the, if we wait here, we will be late. Okay, if we wait here, we will be late. We'll be late. Number six, let me see. Gloria, read number six, please. Gloria, number six. Gloria is sleeping. Okay, Rosa. Read number six, Rosa. Okay. If we go on holidays this summer, we will go to Spain. Okay. If we go on holidays on holiday this summer, we will go to Spain. All right. Let me write it down if we go. Okay, 
Next, the next one, the next one, let me see. Patricia, Julia, Patricia, read number seven, please. Okay. If the weather doesn't improve, we will, we won't have a picnic. Okay. If the weather doesn't improve, we will not, we will not have, have a picnic, okay? Okay. Number eight. Well, Lupe, are you there? Del Carmen, read number eight, please. Okay, she's not there. Lourdes, read number eight. Okay. If don't if I don't go to bed early, I will be tired tomorrow. Okay, if I don't go to bed okay. early, I will be tired. I will be tired tomorrow. And the last one, Luis, can you help us read the last one? Thank you, Luis. Sure. If Jose eats all his cake, he will feel sick. Okay, if Jose eats all his cake, he will feel sick. Sorry. <coughs> all right. Thank you guys for your participation. Excellent. Let's continue here with this part over here. Part number four in the book. Part number four in the book says types of conflict. Types of conflict. Read about the types of conflict that could take place at work. Which do you think are the most common conflicts at work? Rank them from the most common, from number one, to the least common, number five. Okay, conflicts at work, at work and probable causes. Okay, guys, go ahead. Which one, let's do this one together. Which one is the, is the, 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 the most common one? We have uh, personality styles, personality styles, poor communication, conflict of interest and values, corrupt or fraudulent intents and miscommunication. Guys, what's the most common? For communication. Okay. Communication for yes. me. Okay, that would be the number one, right? Okay. What about number two? The second most common. Personality styles. Okay, personality is, yeah, that's a very common one. Okay, thank you. What about number three? <clears throat> Conflict of interest values. Conflicts of interest and values. Okay. Miscommunication. Miscommunication, teacher. Miscommunication. Oh. And uh, corrupt or fraudulent intents. Yes. Okay. Of what course. What is the difference the poor communication and the miscommunication, teacher? Hmm? Poor communication. Is poor communication is when you don't fully fully provide understanding, okay? And miscommunication, oh, is when, and, and, uh, miscommunication is when you provide communication, but in a bad way, or the communication is not really understandable. Okay, yes? For example, you and I have to finish a project and I tell you to do a part but uh, like you don't do it, but I told you to do it, but you don't, you didn't do it. So in the end, we had some miscommunication and, uh, and let's say that you, you did one, you did do one part, but you did my part. So we have two parts of the same. So we didn't have like a very good communication, like that was miscommunication what we understood differently. Okay, more questions? Okay, and you know that the, 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 the 
the, the causes of this are here. See, personality styles, jealousy. Poor communication, poor performance, conflict of interest and values, opposing positions, power struggle, and employee having a bad day. Let me erase this info and let's go down to part number five, in which we have four words. Okay, it says match the name of the conflict management style next to its corresponding description. Then check your answers with a partner. We have avoid, accommodate, compromise, collaborate, and compete. Guys, I need you to place the word avoid in one of the definitions that we have from one to five down here. Okay, read the definitions and uh, well, place avoid in the one that you think is a definition, place accommodate in the one that you think it's it is uh, its definition and so on. Okay, go. I will give you three or four minutes to do this. Give me a second here, sorry. My bad, we're back, we're back, we're back. Happening, what is happening? Sorry, there you go. It is there. Let me know when you finish. Did you finish, people? I finished. Okay, thank you. What about the rest? Did you guys finish? Okay, what, let me see, Carla, hi. Carla, uh, read the definition, 
this definition, the one I, the one I have selected, read this definition and give me the word or give me the answer. Okay. This regard for the need of the other person to solve a conflict. Collaborate. Okay, guys, do you agree? It says disregard for the needs of the other person to solve a conflict. And uh, Carla said collaborate. Collaborate. Okay, then we have the second one. We will check, okay, don't worry, don't worry. We will check. Uh, let me see. Ada Patricia, can you please read the second definition with the with the answer? Um, agree, agreeing to settle a conflict by mutual concession. Okay, agree to settle a conflict by mutual concession. What do you have here as the um, answer? Compromise. 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 Right. Let me write it down. Don't worry if it is incorrect. We will check later on. Compromise, okay? The third one, lower this. Can you please read the definition? Yes, but uh, I don't finish. <laughs> but I read the constant. Uh, three, but parties work together to find a mutually satisfying solution. Okay. Uh -huh. um, maybe um, collaborate for me. Collaborate. Both parties work together to find a uh, mutually satisfying solution. You said collaborate. Right. Okay. Let's continue with the number four. On the number four, let me see. Wilfredo, read number four. Thank you. Wilfredo, hello. Number four? Yes. Uh, let me see. Ah, oh, okay. Mm, mirroring the needs or demands of the other person, not the style. Satisfies around. Okay. It says meeting the needs or demands of the other person, not satisfying our own. What do you think about this one, Wilfredo? Um, compromise. Compromise. Okay. <laughs> we have repeated all of them. Compromise. Compromise. Okay, and the last one, the last one, and uh, let me see. Sulma, read the last one. Okay, the employees don't talk to each other or don't discuss the conflict. Mm -hmm. And number one, about avoid okay guys thank you very much for your participation only two of them are correct the first one the first one is the first one and this one and this one are not correct okay the first one is compete okay Disregard for the needs of the other person to solve a problem, compete, okay? The second one, I think that one was correct. <laughs> yeah, compromise. Compromise, agreeing to settle a conflict by mutual concession. And number four is accommodate. Accommodate, okay? That's, these are called conflict management styles, okay? This is what we call conflict management style, these five. 
avoid, accommodate, compromise, collaborate, and compete. Okay, let's continue down here with part number six. In part number six, it says pair work, choose two conflict management styles and create two situations where you have to solve a conflict. Okay, guys, or let's do it differently. Let's create, let's create one problem or one conflict and let's use one conflict man management style from here to solve the problem, okay? Yes, create the problem or the conflict and then create a solution using the styles that we have here, these five styles, okay? Do you understand? Yes, all right, perfect, excellent. It's quite simple, it's not uh, really complicated. Let me create the groups. Uh, five groups will be perfect. All right, let's go, people. I will see you. I will see you there. Let's roll. Let's roll. Let's go. Let's go. Did you guys did you guys get the invitation? Yes, I received it. I'm joining now. Okay, thank you, Luis. Uh, Susana and Ophelia, did you get the invitation? Gabriela, are you there? Uh, data is not is not complaint and expectation. Yes, uh, a result conflict for me is is a plan. It's in other situation is a good planning. Uh, and but uh, we can uh, we can uh, we can a uh, a uh, uh, problem. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. In collaborate in which? Uh, yes, we collaborate on and and. And with the uh, department, the planets. 
Okay, uh, a problem uh, is, is could be a uh, management management uh, we had a problem in this protection mm -hmm. a problem the ex protection and the and the hand you resolve conflict and could be if could be a, a planification you guys with styles I propose a mm -hmm. void. Uh huh. Me too. I propose a void. Okay. A void. The second style. <laughs> I think. Um. Um. For me, oh my God, Co collaborate maybe. Yes. <laughs> because the other teacher, they are very confused in definition. <laughs> oh, I'm here. Yeah. Yes, I'm here. They are confused. You are confused. Uh, I, yeah, the definition is not clear. I know, I know it's not. It is not. It is not clear. Okay. We should avoid and collaborate. We need to create two situations. Yes. Uh, maybe in the case in the avoid, when, for example, when the employees accept um, maybe the a key indicator, what do you say? Key performance indicators, uh, and the employees don't express their opinion about the about the measure or yes, about the measure only accept. In right the situation or not, teacher? <laughs> that, that's up to you. You know better. The employees don't talk to each other or don't discuss the conflict. In my mind, is the accept. I, I, the... I, I think. I think that is when the employees don't have a. Um, Opinion. Uh, comment. Yes, comment. Only accept. Is right. Only accept. Yeah. Only accept or only uh, uh, ignore in this situation. Uh -huh. They uh, yeah. don't say. Don't complicate. Uh huh. They don't say nothing about mm -hmm. about the problem. They are about avoiding the situation. Continue, guys. Excellent. Don't matter for he or she. To each other. Hi, teacher. A boy together, work together? Mm, well, well, a boy is when the employees don't talk about the problem and don't discuss uh, the solution, I guess. Discuss per solution. Mm -hmm. Ladies. Hi. Um, Hi. I, I get that. Uh, boy, uh, it is. I am. I am. I'm agree with Julia. 
um, yeah. avoid uh, could be when um, if you can if you can see uh, some problem in, uh, for example in the place work if you um, avoid to solve some some problem with a coworker mm -hmm. yeah so we have to create a situation like um I don't know, but I don't know uh, the situation. <laughs> the situation could be I, I, I can't do some report. Mm -hmm. Styly, styly manage a boy. Yeah, a boy um, is the second style. Yes. Um, Sorry, and what was the situation? For example, I guess if I I can't do some report, for example, for example, and my boss um, told me that I have to do it, for example, for today. Pero acá dice que es evitar, eludir, o sea que es alguien que esquivar. Yes, but... O sea que no, no... It, no, is no nada, it is the situation, no hace... but I can do it. But you know, and Julia, no but you, you don't do that. You don't, don't do na nothing. In the question. Uh, two conflicts. <coughs> two conflicts. Uh -huh. In the case, is one okay. conflict. Ah, uh, but it created two situations. Yes. Yes. Problem. But in, 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 in the in, in our case, I have the 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 one situation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? Is it is it is a problem? Uh, for me, the Resolve is a talk, a talk, um, no, uh, it is, I have a meeting with your boss. Yes. Sobre, uh, for situation. Yes. With manager. Hello, teacher. Okay, okay, this one. Is solo borro? Sí. Porque estos son unos pasos que puedo hacer. ¿Qué está haciendo que ver de allá? No, no can read. Teacher, I no can read, and I don't care. Delete is a text. No, I, I wrote it. You can. Uh, that's me. That's me. Okay. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> that was me. Continue, guys. Please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, it's a word that you can say. as group, uh, not, uh, the, the group is not a word about uh, from you. It's also to all the members that uh, they need to do a collaboration to do a, a final result. Mm -hmm. and, uh, also could be, uh, well, in my case, in my work, uh, I I work a lot with a different kind of person to complete a, 
project. And in this case, we de I designed a collection of fashion. So we do a, a we make the collection, and also it's no problem of me. We have a a, a a team to work at, and everyone need to collaborate as prestigious uh, part of, of their work to a final result that is in this case it, the samples are the samples that could be a, a situation just discuss okay. the situations because we, we will not have enough time to, to present anything yeah. So just just prepare uh, something, okay, simple, all right, because we will not have enough time to present everything. So just talk about it, okay? okay. I will see you later. Okay. <clears throat> you are a, a, it's very, a it's very big company. <laughs> so yeah, it's big company, yes, and. And we had a bundle and three, four bundles. Okay. Yes. It's a lot of people. Yes. In yes. my case, uh, the Manuchar in El Salvador is is a, or has a, a few employees, but uh, around the work, uh, Manuchar has a, a 52 uh, enterprise and the employees who has, uh, has a uncountable <laughs> because in, but, in uh, uh, excuse me, a question uh, was material and cell? Uh, for example, sodium bicarbonate citric acid, wow. uh, sulfat sodium, uh, is, is uh, the raw materials uh, has, uh, has to use in, in textileras or the companies uh, has a carbon? Oh, okay. uh, yes, yes. It is good, it's nice, and your work. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And, and uh, for me, my my work, uh, it's, it's nice. I'm yes. not complete. No, for me, it's good. I stay <laughs> being stay for the moment. Yes. Yes. And futuri and futuri are not. <laughs> uh, I uh, I. I think and war in in other country, huh? <laughs> it's a, a a good salary in other country. Yes, yes. Okay. Nice to meet you. We are back. Okay. Guys, for discussing and talking about the conflicts and the different styles, we do not have time to present anything, so we're not going to do it. I'm just going to take attendance, and then we will be free to go and sleep. All right, let me just real quick. Oh, let me see. Ana Patricia Linares Valdames. Present. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. She was not here today. Ana Cervi Chévez. Present teacher. Gabriel Alejandra González Flores. Present. Julia Elizabeth Lares Galdames. Here. Guadalupe del Carmen López Flores. Ernesto Osorio Morán. Julia Patricia Vázquez Santos. Present. Carla Verónica Vázquez de, de Rivas. Present teacher. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Luis Orlando Rodríguez Herrera. Here. 
Nelson Edgardo Sanchez Ramirez. Present teacher. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Here present. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present teacher. Sandra Gais Méndez Ramirez. Present teacher. Susana Carolina Hernández Piraeta. Present. Cuatro Mauricio Morales Araujo. Night. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Ima Rosaura López García. Present. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Julia Patricia. You stay, okay? And what happened? So, so what? Hello, That's okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, okay. People, see you tomorrow. Okay, rest, sleep well. Bye bye, see you tomorrow. Bye, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. Julia, don't go, Julia. Bye. Don't, don't go, Julia. Relax. Okay. <laughs> I was telling you not to leave because Monday, today is Wednesday, right? No, Thursday. Is it uh, Thursday? Thursday, right? On Tuesday, yeah. I, I told Gabi, uh, Gabi to stay, and Gabi didn't stay. She left, and I was here for 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, Julia, uh, in this opportunity, you, you had the chance to ask me any questions that you might have or any confusion, complication with the classes, with the topics, or anything. Okay, um, let me let me see. You were not here yesterday, right? Yeah, yesterday, yes. And uh, Tuesday, Tuesday, I guess again. Because the internet was so bad, it was raining a lot. It is bad everywhere. Yeah, yeah but now, yeah. Now that it's not raining, it's so hot. <laughs> so you're not happy, huh? If it rains, no. you're not, if it rains, you're not happy. No. If, if it doesn't I... rain, it, it is hot, and you're not happy. So. Yeah, but I'm not happy when rain when when it's raining because of the internet. Okay. But the weather is so nice. I really like. It. Well, in my case, when I, when it rains, uh, I usually turn off the Wi-Fi or the modem, and I, I just use the credit on my cell phone. That's what, that's what it's fine to Yeah, let me check. I, I'm, checking, I'm checking on the book to answer a question, <laughs> to, to ask you a question. Okay. Well, I think uh, I have some problems identifying when it's necessary or or not necessary to use who okay. or that. Okay, let me show you how this is. That only happens when we're using who or relative pronouns as objects. Mm -hmm. Okay. as objects. Okay, so far, so far we've used who and we've used that, only those two. We can use more, okay, we can use, we can use what, we can use which, we can use where, right? We can use when, but that's a different situation, okay? Yeah. So in this moment, just who and that as objects. Okay, I will give you two sentences. I can say,
Okay, look at this. Two sentences. Two sentences. Two sentences that are a little related. Okay, I don't talk to the person. It says, and the second sentence says, I ran into a person in the park. Ran into significa encontrar alguien casualmente mm -hmm. en la calle. Okay, that's running. Okay. All right. So we have two different sentences. And notice something important here. We have objects in the sentences. The objects in the sentences are going to be shown to you right now. Person is the object in the sentence, as well as this one. Okay. Those are the objects of the sentence or of the sentences. Okay. We can use who, or we can use that to connect these two sentences, but we're going to eliminate the object. For example, I don't talk to the person that I, sorry, is that not what, that I ran into in the park. Okay, there you go. That's the, the, the combination of the sentences. Okay, I don't talk to the person that I ran into the park. Okay, that's how it goes. Okay, that's how it is. That's how it is. And in this case, this is that, hold on, I wanna show you. This, that can be omitted because we have this. Okay, we have I and I is the subject, okay? That in this case is just working as an object. And this object, this object, is referring to this person over here, okay? Okay. Yes. So in that case, yeah. we can we can omit it. We can say I don't do I don't talk to the person I ran into the park with. Is where the sorry, my my bad, my apologies. <coughs> It happens. I yeah. get allergy attacks sometimes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Do you understand this a little bit? Yeah. Yes. And uh, there, there's one uh, the other situation. Look at this question. In this example. Peter is the person that, or we can say who, Peter is the person that likes to sit in the park. Okay. We have, in this case, we have that. Okay. That is connecting or joining two different sentences. As you can see, Peter is the person, we have one sentence, likes to sit in the park is another sentence. But notice that before the verb like, we do not have a subject. Okay. And in this case, that that is the subject. So when we have when we have that or who, and then we have a verb, and then we have a verb like the one that we have here, like in that situation, we cannot omit it. We cannot omit it. We can only omit it when we have a subject in the next sentence okay okay that's how it is all right all right it's not really complicated it's just it just requires practice you know yeah i think i i get confused in in the exercise that we made yesterday mm. okay yes. and let me tell yeah. you that the topic that we studied today was easy too uh, yeah there's there's the because it was the first conditional the second conditional is a little bit more complex the third conditional is, is crazy 
the structure is, is very long, but, and we will see that one. I think we will see it on Monday or Tuesday next week. So let's see what happens. <laughs> okay. Yes. Right. Do you have more questions? Mm, no, for now, no. <laughs> let's go home. Ah, wait, we're home. Let's go to bed. <laughs> Let's go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, uh, Julia. A pleasure. Thank you. Okay. Good night. Take care. Good night. Bye. Sleep well. Thank you. <laughs>